Former Alabama House Speaker Mike Hubbard will be back in court, maybe as early as next week. This after prosecutors claimed he privately plotted his prison release while publicly accepting responsibility for his crimes. Hubbard was convicted in 2016 on multiple ethics counts, and he currently is living at the Limestone Correctional Facility. Prosecutors say they have phone recordings of Hubbard denying his guilt and trying to get legislators to help him. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio. Brian, this is a rather odd story. Where do things stand now? It is odd. Prosecutors say they have about 600 phone calls of recorded of Hubbard denying his guilt, plotting to get legislators to change the law to help him, and criticizing the state Supreme Court for denying his appeal. Last week, prosecutors tried to give the court a flash drive containing the recordings, but the court clerk said that wasn't an efficient or safe way to store evidence. Now, Hubbard has asked the court for an early release on his 28-month sentence. In a court filing, he apologized for his conduct and said he damaged the public trust. Prosecutors allege Hubbard is not actually remorseful and denies his guilt. They say the prison recordings show that. Now, regarding these alleged Mike Hubbard prison calls, Prosecutors say they have 611 calls and a trove of emails. The court last week asked prosecutors for transcripts of the calls, not a zip drive with the recordings as was presented. And attorneys with the Alabama AG's office said the transcripts may be as ready as early as Monday. Now, on November 18th, the court said it expected the transcripts within 14 days. At that point, a hearing is likely to be set. Hubbard's lawyers have filed a motion aimed at blocking the public release of some of those calls and related emails. They say they're not related to the case or either personal in nature, could cause a threat of harm to the party involved or to someone else.